Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 554. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 551 to 557. And this trick here, we got to look back to Excel Magic Trick 534. What do we do in that one? We had a bunch of dates, and we did conditional formatting for weekends or holidays. So here's our list of dates, and weekend for us is going to be Saturday and Sunday. If you have uh, weekends that are not on Saturday and Sunday, you can see some of these other videos for other methods. And here's our list of holidays. Now, in trick 534, I used the OR function with a list of uh, true-false conditions. And much more complicated than this awesome formula from one of our YouTube Excel teammates, if I can pronounce it, Para Chaminda. Totally awesome suggestion. So watch this. We're going to use the net, net working, net work days. Uh, international in 2010 um, is going to allow you to do any series of weekends, not just Saturday and Sunday. But for now, we're going to use this one. And normally, what you do is you have a start and an end date, and there's a, it spans you know a lot of days or weeks or months, right? And you're trying to count what the work days are. But watch this. What if you put the start date? relative cell reference that one date comma and the same one date well anytime the the largest number of days it can count are how many one so really what this will do and let's put our comma holidays in can't quite get to it there and you've put this down however far you want f4 to lock it right i'm just doing this logical we're going to build a logical true false formula in this cell and then we're going to copy it and paste it into memory for conditional formatting. And I'm just adding this extra column just to show you how it works. But isn't this cool? The most it can ever get is 1. So if it's a work day, we'll get 1. If it's not like Saturday and Sunday, we'll get a 0. Control enter, double click and send it down. Totally awesome. Now uh, for our conditional formatting, um, we we have a problem here because uh, this is false, right? Zero is false, and that's what we actually want as true. And all of these ones we want as false. Well, no problem. We can simply use the not function, one of the many logical functions like and or if function not. And not just turns a true to false and a false to true, or it'll turn a one uh, to false and a zero to true. Control Enter. And double click and send it down. Now we can uh, copy this formula right here and just use it in our conditional formatting. Control C, Escape. And then you can delete this column or do whatever you want. Click in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow to highlight it. Now I'm going to use Alt O D. Alt O D. Actually, before we do that, the active cell is very important when you're doing true false logical formulas for conditional formatting. Active cells where we're going to build a formula. That's why I took that form. We're going to paste it into memory. Alt O D. New rule. Click right there. In earlier versions, you have to click that first text box and it says formula is. And now control V. Now notice this formula is looking A11, A11, right? Which is just that. But as it copies down in memory, it'll be looking at each success of one and getting either a true or a false. Right? The true will be this is a weekend or a holiday. I'm going to click Format and whatever formatting you want. And then click OK, click OK, click OK. And there we have it. If I uh, were going to type in uh, March 9th, then that one now becomes uh, highlighted. So there you have it. Totally awesome formula, this uh, networking days, same day to same day, and then not. All right, we'll see you next trick.